Namaste, Dusty, everyone. I think I said that right. Hello, friends. Happy Saturday, May 14th. Now, as you can tell, I have my distraction in ear. And let's just let you know, there is no game. That doesn't mean I have a wealth in my jukebox. So right now, the hugest distraction for me would be some drum and bass. Then again, there could be also the screaming in my background, which you get to hear and I don't. Amen. <laughs> and I'm going to stay on point today. How do I do that? Oh, I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to be talking about. But I have little, little cute little things here to remind me what I'm going to speak about. And Mr. Teddy Bear is going to start me off. Thank you, EMC. I will head back to your booth to get more information. And, of course, this will be at the RSA conference. I don't know if they'll be giving out this, but they also gave out, gave me this other great little toy that I gave to my optometrist friend. And, did I say friend? I hope I said friend. Optometrist friend who I believe loves it a lot. Yes, IT world, IT geeks, we get toys at our conferences. I show you my yo-yo and stress ball, but they're in my purse. And, yeah, that's not the end of the nice little commercialism. EMC on the back. Mr. Teddy Bear is a giant commercial. Actually, he's a tiny commercial. But it works. It works. I will be heading back there because I do it like what they have to read. And, yeah, talking about commercials. This thing, as I said in the last video, I got it at another commercial. At another commercial. <laughs> at Dreamforce. A Dreamforce conference. Again, thank you, Rob. This little iPod is the lifesaver. And I think I've lost my point. Oh yeah, for those of those people who've left me comments on my video, mainly, mostly on the videos where I'm speaking about sharks. Okay. I put in the tag section whatever I speak about. This is not... I have no real, I, excuse me, I have no real subject for this, for all these video blocks. These are my Toastmaster practice. This is so I could be a better public speaker. And all of them are, go back to my studies. I actually do study, watch my own videos over to take a look at my eye facial expressions, all that, and yeah. So please don't comment any hateful messages. Uh, that, that would be much appreciated, as I'm not commenting on yours. I don't want to spread the hate. Now, speaking of hate, <laughs> not spreading the hate, but I hate dry stuff. Dry speeches, dry skin, dry lips. Now, there are, of course, cures or, what's another word? Uh, there are solutions for all this. And for the dry skin, my hospital has this awesome lotion. Now, if you like Danish cookies, this one lotion, let me just try to keep it still so you might be able to read it. I know I can't read it, but. Yeah. So, this lotion makes me smell like a giant Danish cookie. You know those nice little flowery cookies? I love them as a kid. They were yummy. 
So, now I get to walk around smelling like one. Good stuff. I also... For the lips... I have to say, how do I get this? For the lips, I will co put up a commercial for Burt's Bees. You don't need to be able to read this, just recognize it's yellow and brown. Thank you, Jennifer Montenegro. You saved my lips. This is the only thing I'd put on my lips nowadays. Well, short of lipstick at conferences once in a while. Yes, everyone, I do put on makeup when I need to. Let's say big, well, seminars where I get to meet people, conferences where I might meet people. And yeah, I do go to great conferences. I did happen to go to one in December, and I'm sure my other friends heard about this already. But I got to see Mr. Bill Clinton. Pretty darn close distance. And on top of that, I would have been able to meet him had he shop on time. Yeah, good luck with that. He ne He's never on time. But that one was a huge thing for me, as when he was inaugurated, I was in high school. I joined a group so that I could raise money so I may attend this inauguration. I was all excited about it. And then dad, Mr. I'm in the government, been in the government for, oh, almost ever since he was pretty much 20. Once he finished college, he was in the government. He was in about three branches of the military. That's Army, Army, Air Force, then Navy. He finished in the Navy where he wanted me to go. I wanted to be in the Air Force, but ah, so be it. We just argued it out, argued it out until I got brought to the edge and said, hey, if we keep on arguing about this, why don't I just join the Marines? They want me anyway. And then we just quit that because mom wanted some attention. And I have no idea how she did this, but she signed me up for a beauty pageant. Yeah. So I joined the beauty pageant, and if I'm going to do that, I'm going to win, Dagnabbit. It's not easy. Four hours a day of working out, waking up 4 a.m. in the morning. Tiring stuff, tiring stuff, with really bad publicity, not cool. Well, not bad publicity. It's that there's people with cameras and videos and... Those other people who secretly don't like you, they come up from the woodworks. I have no clue what the heck happens. All I remember is being on a float, waving, you know, doing beauty queen wave, and someone spitting at me. But, yeah, ah, can I do that from here? I promise that dnagirl.com is supposed to be filled with sunshine. And for that, let me reverse the effect of what I just said. That whole beauty queen spitting on me kind of thing. I turned that around. I use that as a neener, neener, neener. I, you could do what you want. I could still smile at you. I, who's the stronger one, right? Who's the stronger one? I keep the smile on my face. This is a genuine smile. I'm happy. I love everyone. I literally mean I try my best to love everyone. It can be it can be <laughs> it can be a bit difficult, but that's what happens. What else? I think that's all I have to for today, except for that I'm really excited about tomorrow. We have this amazing orchestra who's going to play at the church. And I'll try to take a video of it, just to remember. Oh, while well, I haven't been to an orchestra since I was a child, probably in the second or fourth grade, grade school. Yes, I'm excited, excited, excited. And I'll check you guys out tomorrow, right? See ya. Bye-bye. And 
Mr. Teddy Bear wants to say bye to you. Do you guys want to name him? This is not going to be his last showing. Yeah. And, oh, he wants to kiss you. Hopefully it doesn't slam into you. Ah! Good try. Good try. <laughs> yes, I'll watch this later. And remember, these are... This, this whole series is a Toastmaster Ma, practicing, practicing Toastmaster. And it's all tests. And not to be taken, not to be taken seriously. It is a test, and I will be reviewing it, reviewing, reviewing it later. Okay, so this is a test to prepare for public speaking. As such, I have Oh, let's see. Okay, the face, the hair is not a preparation for the public speaking. The speaking with no script. No script, no one here telling me what to say. No practice, no nothing. This is just totally impromptu. And I promise you, I do have a distraction. You can listen to my distraction right there. So I'm listening to this last thing blaring through my ears as I speak to you. So, let's talk later. And please, whoever's out there, please remind me not to say so. But I could feel it. Alright, see you later. Bye.